So I have here with me Grant Campbell. Thank you for being here. My absolute pleasure. And I hear you also go by the name of Raw Aussie Athlete as well. Is that correct? That is correct. Cool. So do you you practice uh, a raw plant-based lifestyle? Yes, a hundred percent raw fruits and vegetables. Cool, cool. And is there a strong emphasis on fruit? Uh, I get most of my I get most of my calories from fruit and get you know, other nutrition like minerals you know, uh, from from leafy greens. Cool. cool. How did how did this come about? How how long have you been doing it? Uh, I came across this way of eating uh, in um, late 2005. So it's been about seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. And uh, basically, Dr. Douglas Graham of uh, Food and Sport has a lot of really incredible information. It's uh, really easy to understand. It's common sense, point of view science, so uh, what's called common science. Cool. Right, he's the author of the 80-10-10 book, is that correct? Yeah, the 80-10-10 diet. He's cool. the author of that. And uh, it's, it's, it's really amazing. I've, uh, my ultra marathon running has changed dramatically. Recovery time is just absurdly fast. And you know, my performance has improved. I have no digestive problems in races anymore. In you know, my last race, I ran 175 kilometers. 105.9 miles through mountains, and I ate 18 kilos of mango or 40 pounds of mango. Right. Uh, two heads of celery and and about 25 kadrawi dates, fresh kadrawi dates, and and drank 10 liters of water or 10, 10 quarts of water. Uh, got about 14 quarts or 14 liters of water from my. From the from the mangoes, so I actually got more water from the mangoes than, than I had to drink. So. Wow! So do you do you occupy yourself like 24/7 with ultra marathoning, or do you just run ridiculously long distances for fun? Uh, my training, you know, most ultra marathon runners laugh at me when I tell them that I that I only train about 30 k's or you know 18 miles. Or, yeah, something like 18 miles a week. Um, <laughs> truly isn't much. There's guys out there running you know, 10 times that much a week. But I, I just enjoy it. I, I find I just find I can go out with this lifestyle. I can just go out and run long distances and, and not hurt myself too much and recover from it pretty quickly. And, and it's very enjoyable. Awesome. And I still get to enjoy other other things in life. That's what you want. Absolutely. You're also a lifestyle coach and an 811 facilitator. Is that is that right? You put on retreats and you get together and you and you guide people and and living the similar lifestyle that that you practice. That's correct. I, I put a retreat on in Australia each year, um, usually November December, just a long weekend retreat. Just, uh, help people just kind of dive in and get exposed to the lifestyle and experience what it's like to live a few days of this lifestyle. Cool. And it's kind of hard to live, hard to hard to look back after that sometimes. Cool. And then the uh, Thailand retreat, I run for a couple of weeks each year. And the rest of the time I'm working with food and sport with, with, with Dr. Douglas Graham. Uh, I, I'm, the, I'm facilitating the, the 1010 Lifestyle Coach, the 1010 Lifestyle Coach program that uh, Dr. Dr. Graham and I run that together. Um, and I just do a whole bunch of other things for food and sport. Lots, lots of interesting projects, I love it. Sure. Have you come across any struggles with yourself in regards to this lifestyle and, say, implementing it into into life in general? And obviously, you've noticed the benefits with the ultra running, but have you come across any any struggles with yourself personally? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, there were times where I went back to cooked food again. Um, it was always based based around emotional issues that I really just didn't understand. I just kind of felt bad. I didn't really know why. And you know, and at there was one time where I uh, where I went back to cook food uh, intentionally, <laughs> which is quite interesting. I, I kind of felt like I was almost. I'd been studying with Dr. Graham for a number of years, a couple of years, and, and I felt like I almost felt like a, a parrot. You know, like I was saying, "Oh, Dr. Graham says this, Dr. Graham says that," and, and right. I didn't, didn't feel authentic to be giving people advice as a parrot. Sure. And, and I felt like I'd lost. I, I, I felt like um, I kind of transitioned into into eating low fat raw vegan or 80 10 10 style of eating fairly easily uh, so there were a lot of uh, struggles I see people go through that I hadn't experienced and I wanted to experience them <laughs> and it was kind of like 
going to the dark side and then finding your way back. Uh, sure. It was very challenging. It was a lot harder to do the second time. I found it so easy to, to transition the first time because really the information that I came across from the Perfect Health Program by Dr. Graham was so clear and, and so kind of obvious. It just resonated with me on all levels that it, that was enough for me to just do it. I didn't know anyone else that was raw. I just did it. But, but once I'd chosen to reintroduce cooked foods, like always vegan, I never went back from vegan, but, um, but choosing to go back to some grains and, and things, it was, it was really hard to, to because it's so stimulating, foods are so stimulating, they have salt and they have all these other additives and, uh, and you're getting you know, some oil in the food and you're getting so much calories from such a few bites. It's very stimulating and uh, it's kind of difficult to, it, it, it preoccupies your mind once you start, once you go back there, it's kind of, it just, it just takes over your life and uh, it's really hard to, to draw on positive things, to stay positive and, and draw yourself back out of that. But, here I am, I, I did it. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, yeah, definitely 100% raw all the time. Loving it. Joy. Thank you for taking the time to have a few moments with me. I really appreciate it. And hopefully other people get inspired by your example. My pleasure. Namaste.